It's striking how much personality each of Kathy Butterly's small-scale ceramic sculptures exude. The intricacy of shape and form and the extraordinary array of colors and textures is remarkable in such tiny forms. Butterly's show at CAM is split into two distinct parts. Out of one, many, is a micro-retrospective of 16 works, all derived from the cast of a pint glass, illustrating the artist's genius for variation on a single form. Made over more than 20 years, these cup forms convey meaning and content as varied as their shapes, from humorous musings on the female body to familial grief, from new love to a fear of GMOs. The second part of the exhibition, Headscapes, comprises new and recent work. These pieces are larger in size and allude in shape to a portrait bust or head. Each of the works is set atop a base that Butterly has fashioned to seem like a podium, furthering the idea that these works have something to say. In fact, the headscapes all refer to anxieties and concerns about the many pressing issues of our times, from political unrest to climate change. In this part of the exhibition, you can also see 10 brand new works made especially for Cam. All of Butterly's work start from a ready-made mold of a domestic item like a vase or a glass, but the pieces are then manipulated, carved, put through multiple firings at extreme temperatures and many color and textural changes with hundreds of glazes. Butterly pushes each piece to the very limits of its material possibilities. There are also additional astonishing adornments, like minute strings of beads, that attest to the artist's hard, long, almost obsessive labor. But to the viewer, these details feel like a wonderful discovery, the reward you get for careful observation. Each final piece hardly recalls its beginnings, becoming something else entirely. The sculptures can be anthropomorphic, playful, complex, sad, funny, or provocative. In all cases, the original vessel becomes dysfunctional and interrupted, completely transformed. Butterly has made the intentional choice to keep all of this in a small package. Making modestly sized ceramics is a feminist pursuit, a form of protest against the masculine impulse to go big. Butterly also insists that these pieces do not rely on scale to shout their presence or their meaning. Instead, they say a lot in their tiny form. We just have to look closely and stay a while.